the main reason I'm in the situation and the position that I am right now is because Jeff Bush allowed companies like Goya Foods of Florida to grow, to create high paying jobs. I'm the perfect representation of the American dream. Jeb Bush released that video highlighting his leadership as governor of Florida ahead of his announcement tomorrow. Long considered the de facto frontrunner, both because of his name recognition and fundraising ability, the past few months have proven, shall we say, difficult for Jeb. So, is he ready for prime time now? Here for a fair and balanced debate, Fox News contributor Pete Schneider and former senior advisor to Senator Harry Reid, Penny Lee. Appreciate both of you guys being here. First to you, Pete. A year ago, it seemed like Jeb Bush was the thousand pound gorilla in this race. Now he's one of the pack. How does he try to regain that front runner status? Well, Leland, you've heard of Shark Week, and so has most of America. This is Dynasty Week going on right now with Hillary coming out and Jeb, and both are ferocious uh, animals out there. But we got to see if can they swim and can they attack and eat alive their, their opponents. Um, We'll see. Jeb, right now. I've never heard that honest an assessment of what true. politics this really is. This is what is. it's all about. We all know this. <laughs> Look, Jeb and in the, uh, in the GOP, there's a lot of reverence for the Bush family. That said, in the grassroots, not a lot of love for Jeb right now. People need to see that he can swing and hit and fight. He hasn't, that's what the, he, that's he what hasn't the party been doing wants. so well on that, Penny. Well, I think, you know, it's going to be rusty? interesting. Is he rusty? What's the problem? <laughs> well, it has been a while since he has run for election, and it is different when running just for governor of Florida and the entire state. And look, the party has moved. Since he was an elected official, the party has become more uh, more right. Uh, and so he has to adjust and has to figure out what is where his appeal is going to be. But look, he was a strong governor, a popular governor of a very large state, and I think those kind of leadership things, if he can lean into those, will bode well when he, he can, goes for a he, national election. If he can run on his record. I, I, was, I was struck by a headline earlier this week as he was going through Europe. The headline basically said, wow, Jeb's doing great. There have been no gas. That's now the new bar <laughs> that, that's been set. And what, I'm, what I'm wondering from that, from that end, Pete, how, does the gra how much does the grassroots really look at what's happening right now? Does it matter whether you go over and have a couple of gas? Does it matter whether you hit a couple of doubles, so to speak, if we want to continue the baseball analogy? Or is it just too early? Well, look, I, I don't think a trip to Europe does much at all for the grassroots in Iowa or New Hampshire or you name it. What matters is who's showing up, who's knocking on their door, who's going into their living room, and who can fight and beat Hillary Clinton. This is a party that desperately wants to win, and they want someone with gumption and moxie to get the job done. When, when you watch that video, Penny, when you've heard Jeb talk over the past couple of months, does he seem to have that kind of fire in the belly that we're seeing from Marco Rubio or from Walker, those kind of folks? Look, he's a different kind of person, and I think his strength isn't, isn't going to be in that high rhetoric, lofty speeches. That's not who he is. Does, it, does, the the candidate, is, does a candidate need to have that? I think there's elements to it, and there's parts of it, but it's a long campaign, and I think whoever wears the best over a long time is who is going to win because the, sh the short kind of flash in the pants can rive up a crowd. We've seen that. Rand Paul can do that quite well. I don't think he is for the long run, whereas Jeb, I think, as a steady person, could. I think it's early, but the hearts and minds of the grassroots need to be captured, never too late to mix it up, never too late to show them that you have backbone. That's why Walker's well, doing ba so backbone, well. Well, backbone's an important, an important point. <laughs> take, take a listen to, to this clip that uh, Jeb didn't do himself any favors with. And that, that was the Megyn Kelly interview that he had to redo the answer three or four times <laughs> yes. over the Iraq war. That you can't make those mistakes too many times. Right. The grassroots folks kind of go, ah, this doesn't really and work. And and that and that is something that he is going to have to rest because you would have thought by this point he would have had that narrative down. I mean, look, this was not a, a question that he was, should have been surprised. Anybody should have anticipated anybody, that. Anybody and every candidate well, on both sides. How do you have, have the have guy it? who's the front runner with so much money, with such a, a as such an organization as the Bush dynasty has, get something like that so wrong? How are you not prepared for that, Leland? I have no idea. The problem, I think. He has a good heart. He's not going to throw his family under the bus at any turn. Now, juxtapose that with Hillary Clinton, who yesterday basically ramrodded and, and disassociated herself with the entire two terms of her husband. She has no shame. She will do and say anything to win. And maybe Jeb, look, I you like that he's a good guy, but that might not get him over the top.
Well, She's cold-blooded. We'll, yeah, well, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Penny, Pete, we appreciate both of you guys coming in. A lot more debates.